Hello everybody, Double J101 back again with another video and today I thought let's do another throwback Thursday. Kind of to elude what the video on Friday might be actually, but hey, why not? This is G1 Battle Trap. These guys are getting a new release in Power of the Primes, which back in G1, as far as I know, they didn't have names for each specific piece. Now in Power of the Primes, this guy will be Road Trap, and this one will be Battle Slash. But as far as I can remember, they didn't have a name. They were just called Battle Trap. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at each of these figures. Here is the blue truck of Battle Trap, a.k.a. Road Trap. And for G1, you know, it's decently detailed. You, 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 it's pretty much detailed as much as you would expect a G1 to be. It has the very sweet rub sign that works decently well. Let's go ahead and rub it a little tighter there. There you go. You can see a little bit of Decepticon coming through. And mine still has the stickers, which is nice. They're not applied as well as they used to be, but you know... Being that this figure is from 1987, it's kind of hard to expect too much of it. That is the Road Trap part of Battle Trap. And now for Battle Slash, which Battle Slash is really nice, actually. I like how well the helicopter propellers actually move. We have a nice Decepticon logo here on the front, as well as a rub symbol on the side, which this one, let's see... Works a little better, actually. It doesn't show very well on my camera, but it does pick up pretty well. Mine also does have these stickers still on the back fin. Both are in actually pretty good condition. Now, also included with these figures is this double barrel weapon of sort. Very detailed throughout the middle for being, of course, a G1 figure. For this weapon, you can also peg it here on the bottom of the helicopter. As so. If you feel so inclined to do so. Or... As you will see, once we get it together, you can peg it right here on the top of the blue car and go from there. Now, as these guys are duo cons, let's go ahead and get them combined together to make the figure that they are. We'll remove that weapon for the time being. And on the back of this blue truck here, we have a slot here in the middle and these two sections here. They don't look like slots, but they actually are compared to the bottom here where you see the three pegs. So this peg actually goes into the open one, and the other two just kind of push down. So once you connect, that pulls out the outside piece like this, which in a moment you'll see exactly what they are. On the top here, you're going to push down and hold the front and pull back like so. Now lastly, let's go ahead and connect the gun, which you have to move this back a little bit. Connect it here in the middle, bring it back up. Make them nice and neat looking. And there you have G1 Battle Trap. Now overall for a G1 figure, he is not too bad looking. He ha it, it's, a, it's a cool concept what this figure actually does. And I do like how it incorporates both together. You know, as a G1 figure, you can't expect much. But I do wish in a way there that these two figures could have been something else on their own. But again, it's G1. You can't really expect too much from it because of the limitations they had back then. Otherwise, the actual way this figure becomes a robot is really cool in my opinion. But overall, that is all for today's video for Throwback Thursday. It was a quick one. There's not a whole lot to this guy. Kind of like how my last video with Rollbar was. Not a whole lot to him. But you can stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we will be taking a look at the new version of this guy. But till then... You get to enjoy a nice, short little video of Duocon Battle Trap. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you feel so inclined, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks again for watching.